Hi, I'm Chris Walker with Rio Products here with another episode of our how-to series. Uh, this how-to is going to be all about versileters, both what they are and how to rig them up. So the first thing to understand about versileters is that they are intended to replace the leader uh, that you would put on the end of a floating fly line. Uh, they differ from sink tips in this way because sink tips are really designed to replace the front taper of a fly line. So you need to use them with lines that are designed to be used with a sink tip. Burst leaders are great because you can use them with any floating fly line to which you would attach a tapered leader. Um, and really the difference there is weight. So Versa leaders are a little bit lighter and that roughly matches the weight of your tapered leader. Sink tips are a little bit heavier and that roughly matches the weight of uh, a front taper of a fly line. So even within Versa leaders, they vary in weight too. So we break them up into a few different series. The first one, is the trout versa leader. And this is really built, as the name suggests, with trout in mind. So it's got a little bit lighter core. It's about a 12 pound core. Uh, it's good on four, five, and six weight rods, roughly, um, and would replace a leader much like a nine foot 4X, something you'd use typically for trout. The next size up in versa leaders is what we call the freshwater versa leader. And this is simply designed for bigger sized uh, freshwater lines. So it's ideal for steelhead, salmon, uh, bass, pike, that kind of thing. Next after that, we have what we call the light Scandi Versileter. And if you're familiar with uh, spay casting, uh, this is supposed to be used with a Scandi style shooting head, which typically has a very fine front taper. It's built for light turnover. So this is a very light leader that goes well with that style shooting head. And last but not least, we have the Spay Versileter. And these are really designed to be used with traditional spay lines which tend to have much longer heads and heavier grain weights. So there's quite a bit of mass there to turn over a heavier leader. And as a result, we make these leaders a little bit heavier than the other series. Now within each of these series, the sink rate changes as well. And the sink rate has everything to do with density and very little to do with weight. So it's important to draw the distinction between those two things. Uh, for instance, every single leader in the freshwater versa leader series will have the same weight, the same grains. Uh, but the densities vary uh, according to the coating we put on there. And because those densities vary, we can vary the sink rates. So for example, this is an intermediate sink rate, which uh, it's expressed right here as 1.5 IPS. And you might be wondering, what does IPS mean? That's simply inches per second. So each of these, we express the sink rate in inches per second. Uh, and this is an easy one to tell just visually because it's clear. It gets a little tougher when the densities get higher because all of the colors tend to be darker. So for the rest of the densities, you'd have kind of a, just a dark color and they might be difficult to distinguish visually. So they've actually got another feature that allows you to tell them apart if they do get mixed up in your bag. So this is the next density down. It's three IPS, three inches per second. And you can distinguish that because it has a green loop. The next fastest would be four inches per second, which is distinguishable because of its maroon loop. After that, you have a fast sink, which is five inches per second. Uh, this one's got a dark blue loop. And last but not least, you have the extra fast sink, which just has a black loop. So that's a really convenient feature if they do get mixed up in your bag. It makes it much easier to tell them apart again. So that's what verse leaders are. That's what they're intended to do. And we've kind of covered the sink rates and sizes. So now we'll go over really quickly how to rig a verse leader. So here I've got my trout line. This is a five weight trout line. Uh, I don't have a leader looped onto the end. And what I'll do to rig up this intermediate versa leader is simply unfurl the leader. And I'll use the uh, welded loop at the back end of the versa leader to attach it to my line by a loop to loop connection. Now you can tell one end from the other in versa leaders because the thick end is the back. So the thick end is actually gonna have this welded loop and it'll have coating on the end. Uh, the front loop, is not going to have any uh, coating at all. It'll just be an exposed monofilament core. So I'll grab the back loop here, grab the loop of my fly line, pass one through the other, and simply rig up this leader with my loop-to-loop -loop connection. And there's my nice handshake loop-to-loop -loop connection there. Now we'll take a look at the front end of the Versa leader. As I said, there's actually some exposed monofilament core there, uh, and it's a very short section. It's only, you know, call it eight inches, 12 inches, something like that on a long one. 
Uh, so I obviously, that's a little bit uh, short. Uh, if all, all I've got is six inches of tippet, I'm not as likely to get a strike. So what I'll add on the end is just some level tippet. In this case, it's a trout versus a leader. I'm gonna use 3X tippet to rig up maybe a couple of soft tackles or some small fly like that. So here's my 3X tippet. Uh, I've got a loop tied in one end and I can simply do another loop to loop connection with the core of that Versaliter. Now there's an important reason I'm only adding tippet and I'm not adding a tapered leader to the end of my Versaliter. And that is because the Versaliter itself is tapered. So if I go back to the coated portion, I can feel one end of the coating is very thin. And then as I work my way back up to the butt, the other end is very thick. So as I said at the beginning, uh, these are designed to take the place of a tapered leader. And because of that, we actually have the taper built into the Versa leader. So you really only need to add a level tippet section. Now the length of tippet that you'd add is uh, very important to tune according to the sink rate of the leader. So this was an intermediate Versa leader. It's gonna sink at a relatively slow rate, one and a half inches per second. Uh, because of that, uh, you don't have as big a mismatch between the sink rate of the Versa leader and the tippet you're adding. So if I'm fishing soft tackles, my verse leader is going to sink very slowly. My leader is going to sink a little bit slower still, but kind of stay in line with it. If I were to go up to something as fast as a seven inch per second, all of a sudden I have a huge mismatch in sink rate between my verse leader and the tip that I'm attaching to it. So now my verse leader could be sinking really quickly down here. And if I've got a big long tippet, it's going to bow way up into the water column and not sink my fly as quickly. So the basic rule of thumb is the faster the sink rate of the Versa leader, the shorter the tippet section you should put on there, just so that your fly is dragged down more quickly by that sinking Versa leader. So those are the basic rules of thumb of how to rig a Versa leader, uh, as well as the situations where you'd use them. I love having these things on me because uh, if I'm out on the water and I need to make a quick change, if there's a deep pool I need to fish really quickly, rather than carry two fly lines, I can simply switch over to a faster sinking Versa leader. So they're a great tool for versatility on the water. Hopefully you've learned something in this how-to series. And if you liked what you saw here, you can check out the rest of the series online at rioproducts.com. Thanks for watching.